welcome back to Crux Stationalis. I return with you to the Duomo of Orvieto, and we explore together the Chapel of the Miracle, the chapel which houses the Eucharistic Miracle of Balsena. Before we head inside, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. As mentioned in our first visit to Orvieto, St. Thomas Aquinas was commissioned by Pope Urban IV to compose the propers for the Mass and the office honoring the Holy Eucharist as the body of Christ. In the background of this present video, we hear the choir of Santissima Trinità dei Pellegrini in Rome singing Pange Lingua Gloriosi, the well-known hymn of St. Thomas, which includes the two stanzas of the Tantum Ergo sung most usually at benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. Before we arrive at the Chapel of the Miracle, I first wish to thank all the supporters and patrons of the Apostolate of Crux Stationalis. Your prayers and financial support make this video and other work at Crux Stationalis possible, and for that I am grateful. The Chapel of the Miracle is found inside the Duomo of Orvieto, precisely in the left transept. It was built between the years 1350 and 1356 by Andrea Pisano in honor of the Eucharistic Miracle of Balsena, which occurred in 1263 in the very town of Balsena. Under the scene of the crucifixion, in this elaborate marble tabernacle, we gaze upon the relic of the corporal, the altar linen for Mass, which is stained with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In 1263, Peter of Prague, a Bohemian priest, was celebrating Mass in the Basilica of St. Christina in Balsena. At the moment of consecration, blood flowed from the host and stained the corporal. During the Easter season, the miracle remains exposed so that the faithful might come to pray in Orvieto and adore the Eucharistic miracle. The chapel was frescoed between the years 1357 and 1364. The frescoes depict the story of the Eucharistic miracle of Balsena and present to the onlooker the mystery of transubstantiation in a series of images subdivided into different fresco panes. Facing the altar to the left-hand side, these frescoes depict in general the mystery of transubstantiation, the transformation of bread and wine into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. These two frescoes in particular highlight this reality of the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist showing the host as unclouded by the veils of sacramental signs and rather a miniature depiction of the whole Christ in the hands of the priest. In addition, they show the double consecration of the host and the chalice, pointing to the life which comes from the sacrifice of Christ. Christ who said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you shall have not life within you. Facing the altar to the right-hand side, we encounter the frescoes which tell the story of the miracle of Balsena.
Starting from the upper corner nearest the altar, we see the priest Peter of Prague celebrating Mass, when at the moment of the consecration the blood of Christ flows from the host and stains the corporal. Then the priest Peter of Prague has recourse to Pope Urban IV in Orvieto to recount the event. Pope Urban IV orders the Bishop of Orvieto to go to Bolsena and to verify the veracity of the account. In the following images, the relic of the corporal is carried to the city of Orvieto. And here Pope Urban IV shows the corporal to the city of Orvieto. And the same Pope commissions St. Thomas Aquinas to write the liturgical text in honor of the Eucharistic miracle of Balsena. Further looking up and around at the other frescoes, we see scenes from the life of saints adoring the Blessed Sacrament, and we encounter biblical images prefiguring the gifts of the sacramental life of the Church and things to come of the Apocalypse, the cosmic reality of life imbued with the gift of grace. have given them bread from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, we ask that we may honor the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, so that we may feel continually within us the fruit of your redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today at Crux Stationalis in our visit of the Chapel of the Miracle, exploring the history and the art surrounding this great gift of the Eucharistic miracle of Bosena. Check out the first video of our visit to Orvieto, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Crux Stationalis and turn on the notifications to stay tuned for all future videos, including our next video highlighting the sacred art and architecture of this Duomo of Orvieto. And I ask that you kindly share this video with your family and friends. God bless you and have a wonderful day. See you next time here at Crux Stationalis.